بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب الله سبحانه وتعالى in the Quran all throughout the Quran praises the صحابة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالسَّابِكُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises and says that he is pleased with the first from the muhajireen وَالْأَنْصَارِ those people who made hijrah and hijrah to Medina and the people who greeted them so ayya al-ahbab this is imperative that we know that the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with them and that they radiallahu ta'ala anhu were the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they were the ones who carried this religion and the salaf of this ummah adheres to the way that they adhere to the religion and encourages the people to tamasik the kitab, the sunnah and the understanding of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and the Prophet said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al khulafa rashidin al mahdiin. He said, It is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, and Majma'een. And the Prophet said also in the hadith of Iftiraq, he said, after mentioning that the Jews and the Christians would break into sects and his ummah would break into 73 sects, and he said, and then he was asked uh, uh, about. Who, who will be the ones that are saved? He said, Man ma The Prophet said, Those people who are upon what I'm upon, uh, those who are upon what I'm upon, uh, uh, my sunnah and my companions. So we know, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, that they are to be followed and that they are the asl of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. They are the jama'ah. And they form the asl of Ahla Hadith and those who came after them who preserved the Hadith and Ahla Athar wa Ahla Sunnah and all of the other names wa Firqa Najia and so forth. So Ayyul Ahbab, loving the Sahaba is from the religion of Islam. So those people who hate the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what are some of the statements that the Salaf used to say? Here's what Imam uh, Abu Ismail al Sabuni uh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, Wa alamat al bid'a ala ahliha al badia al tahira wa adhar ayatihim wa alamatihim shidda ma'adatihim li hamla akbar nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ihtikarihim lahu wa istikhbatihim bihim. Imam Sabuni Rahimahullah Ta'ala he mentioned, that one of the, the, the signs of the people of innovation uh, is that uh, one of the clear signs of the people of innovation and the most prominent signs of them is that they have an extreme hatred or enmity towards those people who carried the religion, who carried the akhbar and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who carried the hadith meaning Ahla Akbar, Ahla Hadith, Ahla Athar, and who was the first of them? The Hadith, they go back to Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een, and then to the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, and they belittle them, and they, uh, they try to take away their, their status. So, Ahla Sunnah, has always held that as a, an important principle of creed because it comes from the Quran and the Sunnah and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Lat Suba Ashabi, you know, do not curse my, my companions, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een. But we see some people, their whole religion is based upon that. Ayul Ahbab, beware of the Rafa the Shia, beware of their danger. All of the, a lot of the evil we see in the political realm, we see because of them, of the harm that they cause the Muslims. Look at Syria, look what's going on in Iraq. The bombings in the Masajid, the, uh, the killing of the women and children in Syria, slaughtering them like animals. 
all of this at the hands of Rafid the Shia, supported by who? Supported by who? It's already well known, Ayyul Ahbab, that wherever they go, they try to cause harm. Our brothers and sisters are suffering in Damaj, who are being attacked. Why? Because they're Ahl Sunnah. Because they call the Kitab, you know, with Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the methodology of the Salaf and Ummah, and they're teaching Islam. So the Rafida, they hate that. And this is the case, Ayyul Ahbab. So make dua for your brothers and sisters of Ahl Sunnah, wherever they may be. May Allah unite our hearts and protect us from splitting and dividing any more than we already have. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere and protect us from Kulisu and Makru. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.